Salut, David Allman here, and today we are in the studio and I'm finishing Public Alchemy's uh, EP, finally. It's been months, and I was leaving this last song for the last because I was uh, trying to find the right, the right sound for it, and, and to be honest, I was lacking inspiration, and then now coming back to it after a few weeks, a few months, I'm very inspired, and I discovered that what makes this song, for me at least, the lead part, is to have a controlled feedback. And if you know me, I don't like to use real amps and mic real amps for several reasons. First of all, it's loud, it takes a lot of space, and if you're recording with a mic, uh, if you're micing an amp, um, and you have to go back the next day to finish your lead or, or to do some overdubs, you need to match the exact sound, the exact tone. So that means leaving the amp like it is. And that's why I love the axe effects. I can just store my presets and then whenever I'll come back to it, whether it's the next day or years after, I get the same exact tone. The problem that I'm having with this is to get the live feel of a real mic'd amp pushed to, to the max with the controlled feedback. And that's where I came up with a creative solution to do that. The Axe FX2 has two outputs, two separate outputs. One of this output is going stereo into my sound interface. The second output of the Axe FX2 is going into this Zytone cab, which is a powered cab, built under my specifications, and you can actually get the same exact cab on Zytone's website, the Wallman cab. This is a wedge cab. I decided to go with a wedge for this use. I, of course, I can use this in practice, but for recording, it's awesome. Because of the inclination of the wedge, I can play my guitar sitting down in the studio and very close to the cab, and I'm gonna get a controlled feedback. The Zytone is going to push some air, the sound of the guitar, and my pickups is gonna receive that sound. Not only are the pickups gonna, gonna response to the strings, but also to the sound that it's receiving from the Zytone. And that's going to create a feedback. And depending on how I move, I'm going to get the control feedback that I want. Because the Axe 2 is also plugged straight into my sound interface, the sound interface is not only going to get the direct sound of me playing, but also the feedback that is happening between the Zytone and my microphone. So I am recording this song using that technique for the main theme because I want some of the notes to feedback. Here's a little sample of how it works and I hope you enjoy this. The album is almost done. Six songs, they only need to be mastered and more on that soon. But I hope you enjoy this trick. You can be creative with, um, with this in the studio. There's so many, many things you can do now with uh, technology and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and until then. Thank you.